Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ray Johnson. Now guys, today we'll be looking at how to actually do double exposure effect in Canva and making it look as if you actually did it in Photoshop, guys. Yes, guys, so I'm going to show you some easy tips and tricks that you can actually use to actually get it done. So guys, what you need to do first is actually go to custom size and put in these dimensions and go ahead and click on create new design. Okay, so now that I'm here, what I'll be using is that I'll be using two different photos and I'll be actually blending them to actually let you see how it actually goes. So first I'm going to search for a photo a normal size photo then i'm gonna search for a smaller size photo okay so i'm just gonna crop this photo and then i'm gonna set it as the background so it goes in the middle perfectly just like that and i'm going to remove the background and if you don't know to actually remove the background guys of a photo you can always go ahead and search my channel I have two videos that actually show you how to, actually, how to actually remove the background in Canva and you can also remove the background on backgroundremover.com yes guys so and that would be free on backgroundremover.com but it's only the per paid version in Canva that you can actually use to remove the background so now that I've removed the background guys what I'll be doing next is that I'll be going to elements and I'll be searching for gradient. So I'm going to go ahead with gradient transparent. And I'm going to put it on graphics to get the one that I want. Okay, guys, so this is the one that you want to be using first. It's called off tone white gradient so you're gonna go ahead and click on it to get it over now that it's over you're gonna actually rotate it to 90 degrees okay so now that you have rotated to 90 degrees you're gonna try to get it centered Just like that and then you're going to continue to actually duplicate it and you're going to try to search for a straight line you're going to leave it there you can duplicate it about five times so this would be the third and this is the fourth just looking for the straight line guys and this would be the fifth Okay, so this is good to go as it is. So you can go ahead and actually download it. So you can click on download and you can ensure that it's on PNG and you're going to go ahead and download. Okay, so now that is downloading, you're going to then upload it just like that. And let's move on to page two. So now that you have you have uploaded it, you can pull it back. And right away, you can go ahead and set this image as the background. Now, we are going to be moving on to the second image. And we're going to go to elements to get that one. And the second one is actually the smaller image. Let's see. Again, sure. Whenever you're doing it, guys, you try to search in photos. It will be give you a better actually image that you are able to work with for the double exposure. But here's the image that I actually want, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on it. And I'm gonna try to actually follow the Pay the image that I'm trying to get it in as much as possible.
okay so this is okay so this is good enough so i'm gonna go back well before i do that i'm gonna go ahead and delete this i don't need it right now so i am gonna go now into elements and i'm gonna go back to searching for gradient transparent and i'm gonna go to graphics no, I'm going to search for a different size gradient. Okay, guys. So this is the gradient that you will need actually to actually do your transparency. Transparency. So this is the one that I want you to go ahead and use. We are also going to actually rotate it 90 degrees. And we're going to ensure that it's large enough. Okay, and we are going to change the color to white. Okay, and now guys, the aim of actually using this gradient is actually to cover the edge of this image. So we are trying to cover this edge, we are trying to cover here, and we are trying to cover up here. So we're going to continue duplicating it until it actually does the job we want. Okay, guys, looking at this right now, the edge of this image is really not visible. So once that's the case, we can actually move on to the next one. So let us go ahead and Choose one of these to duplicate. Now we're going to flip this vertically so it goes to the next side. Then we're going to drag it to the edge because we're trying to get rid of the edge. We're going to continue doing that. Searching for the vertical line. At the same time, mindful of the edge of the image, trying to get it out. Let's take a look. Okay, so that is not apparent anymore. So what we can do is now we can actually move up to the top and try to actually erase that. So I'm gonna go to zero degrees and I'm gonna put it at the top. I'm gonna leave it just like this. And yeah, I am finished with this one. What I can see though guys, is that the edge right here is a bit visible so I'm gonna put one more layer there so I'm gonna come down with this put it right back to 90 degrees and I'm gonna come down with it and leave it right there and then I'm gonna duplicate it And go right back down to zero degrees and put it back in the position that I wanted it. And now I can go ahead and download. So I'm going to scroll down and click on download. Ensure that it's an PNG and ensure that I'm actually only downloading page two. Click on download.
and I'm going to go ahead and drag it up, upload it. Then I'm going to move on to page three. So now I'm going to put this image in first and set it as the background. I'm going to carry over this image, put it right here. There we go. So now I can actually use the transparency tool. I'm going to put it down to about 50. And as you can see, guys, it's actually coming out now. So we're going to go ahead right away and download this. Click on download. Select the page. That'll be page three. And download. Okay, so that has been downloaded. So go ahead and upload. Okay, so I'm going to put it on a new page, page four. Right away, you can go ahead and set it as the background. Now, what you can do is go around to, you're going to add the, the image. So you get the, the option to actually go around. And you're going to click on where it says, well, you can just scroll down. Because these are the three that you really need. Of course, you can click on see all, just in case you want to change it up. Okay, so you can put the brightness down to about negative 50. The contrast to about 70. And saturation, you can really turn that up. And normally put it to about 100. And you can basically play around with these guys. I normally use this as well. Vibrance. So guys, so you can actually now go to clean this up by clicking on it, going to edit image. And you can go to remove background. And guys, if you're not able to use pro version, you can always go to removebackground.com. It's free and it's also fast and easy. Okay, so the background is being removed. So let me see how it looks now. Still need a bit of cleaning up. So let me go ahead and try to do that. Okay guys, so yes guys, it looks much better. And it looks just as professional as if you actually did it in Photoshop, guys. And this will actually look better when you actually put it like this. Yes, guys. So basically, guys, this is how you actually do the double exposure effect in Canva. And it looks awesome. And guys, you can just do this fast and easy. And as I'm telling you guys, you don't have to do anything perfect because you have the tools that can help you to clean it up. You can erase anything that is overlapping by using the erase background and if it doesn't come out perfectly you can always erase it if you erase too much you can restore it so yes guys thank you for watching another tutorial and remember guys in order to keep me making this content you gotta subscribe you gotta like the videos you gotta comment so the video can go to other persons and i get encouraged to actually make more videos like these so thank you for watching you take care bye bye